it's so lagging. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and gone. And Spooky is done. And now it is time for Spooky Fishing and Marina Festival. All right, um, cool. Let's get that done. All right, that fireworks are gonna be necessary now. So that brings the grand total to exactly nine stacks of purple candy. How much is required for black cat? 2000. So that's just above 512. So I need to do that four times for black cat. Wow. But yeah, we're doing a spooky festival, spooky fishing at the same time as a marina fishing event. Isn't that funny? I put expertise on this fishing rod yesterday. And as you can see by the little thing in the top right there, I've already leveled it up to expertise three, almost four just from one marina event off stream eight more kills and we're gonna get the expertise four i almost got three thousand candy score with no boost from a, a specific mare almost three thousand candy score i scored position 253 that candy score is ludicrous considering the first night i missed like three minutes of it and i also forgot to put my bat person armor on and the following day i didn't have bat person armor on and my bat pet was level zip one. That was that was cool. We did um two fishing events at the same time. Also, also, the mod says my ammonite's level one hundred when it's level sixty. I just wanted to. Um, hi, cocoa beans. How many did we get? First of all, how long was that grind? Almost an hour? I farmed cocoa beans for a freaking hour? Oh, dude, I think I went a little overboard on this one. We might have like a massive excess of cocoa bean. Let's see. The most replenished that we could possibly use for the remainder of this profile is three books. Beyond three books, there is literally no other tool in the game that would benefit from replenish. We already have it on uh, potato hoe. We could use it on a carrot hoe, nether warts hoe, and technically a wheat hoe. I don't even have one. You know what? We're making two replenish books, and I think we're saving the rest for... Because I'm not making a wheat hoe anytime soon. So I think the best play, two replenish books, and then upgrade the cocoa bee minion. Oh, yeah. Wait. Do not tell me. It requires cookies. Are you serious? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do that again at some point, but not for a long time. I think this is the dumbest addition to the entire game right here, what you're about to see. The freaking nether wart bag. Why? Why does this item exist? Why not just make the bag of seeds able to plant nether wart? Like, is it that hard to just be like, hmm, there's nether warts in the seed bag and you right clicked on a soul sand block hmm i wonder should we put wheat here no they could have combined they could have easily combined the items into one why was it necessary to make a nether wart bag so i can afford the metals but not the tickets i don't think i spent too much on other stuff there is a farming contest in about 11 minutes it depends depending on what it is all right so 30 jacobs tickets gold medal and then we can make the nether wart pouch then we can plant our wart. And then that's gonna help us get Potion Affinity Artifact, which will make us strong. Nether wart pouch acquired. By the way, chat. Look what I have. One fourth of the way to greatness. <laughs> The first room that I ever found a secret in because Jay of Armin literally. <gasps> oh, we got it. We got treasure talisman. Let's go. Yeah, zombie sword's pretty much required at this point. Oh, 50 out of 50 chest plate. Oh, bro. We're going to have a full legendary zombie soldier set soon. Wow. For a floor five that might actually be better than my chest plate wait a minute wait a minute is that better than my chest plate it might be
Oh, okay. Ramen has been completed and still no staff. Hmm. <gasps> Let's go! Yes, and it's an emerald chest, so it's cheaper. Let's go, finally! How many runs? It's probably not even that many considering the grand scheme of things, but I want to know. 79 runs. You know what? I'm pretty sure that's below average anyways. We freaking got one. Let's go. And Seal did call it actually. There is the butte. The Bonzo staff acquired. Yes. It took so long. So many hours. Not really. More like, was it? four five hours compared to, that was i uh, even though it was below average it was average okay even though it was average drop speed that felt like a glaze side helmet v2 right there let's max this thing out shall we we'll be 500 there it is five starred bonzo staff. yeah i think we're fine we're fine it is max enchanted. Look at this beauty. Uh, don't tell me it's 48 for the recipe game. Do not do it. Do. Good. Bozo staff with the scroll. Good. So that effectively reduces the, I didn't even read the description of the scroll. It effectively reduces the cost of the ability by five mana, which is actually kind of good. Let's hope unlocking the slot doesn't take um, Sapphire. Then I'd have to go mining. Please. Yeah, let's go. And nine more intelligence while holding it from the gemstone. Let's do this. All right. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I can't afford any other upgrades. Uh, well, hot potato books I can get, but let's do a damage test, shall we? There's two types of tests I want to do. The, uh, the first is just straight up how much damage it does in right click. The second test is how much it does, how much Voodoo Doll does while I hold this out. Now that's a roughly 100 damage difference, right? 100 intelligence difference. That should be quite good. Let's make sure I'm wearing the right thing here. We're going to give it the best chance possible for out of dungeons. And we're going to use my crystal set. Three fourths crystal with shadow goggles gives me the largest stat buff. 2,633 intelligence. Let's see how much Dreadlord does. 45,100. Wait. You're not telling me. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's not right. Something's not right here. I'm not very happy right now. I'm not very happy right now. It has less strength, which might be the reason. It shoots faster though, which is nice, I guess. Second test. Voodoo doll while holding the weapon. 170, 240 is the first tick. Almost 300 on the last tick. 170 and then it goes to 240. It's almost the same. The real test is if I can one tap a mushroom cow with this. It's the freaking same. It scales better in dungeons. Yeah, I guess. But I'm just freaking sad. That's disappointing. I'm gonna be real with you. That's disappointing. So if I frag it, I get 50 more intelligence. If I add hot potato books, then it'll be better, but not great. Ultimate wise five. The thing is it shoots faster. Ultimate wise five would make it cheaper to use than this without ultimate wise. That is pretty nice. It uses up mana like a freaking, oh dude, it uses so much mana though. That's the problem. The radius is farther, right? Oh, that wasn't very far. Oh, that radius sucks. What? Dreadlord Sword literally just is... Bro, that radius is worse! I swear that Bonzo Staff radius is worse. I'm so mad. It might literally make sense to use Dreadlord Sword outside of dungeons. That's really friggin' disappointing. 
<laughs> That's so disappointing. Apparently upgrading with Bonza Frag adds 50 intelligence in another gemstone slot. Does it increase the rarity? Because if it increases rarity, then Heroic's gonna give more. And if there's a gemstone slot, then obviously that'll give more. No, it doesn't. Wow. At least with staff, you can just hold down right click. And once you get it to ultimate wise five, you have enough mana. And if you have enough mana, you could just spam it nonstop. We're going to try to just keep playing. Wow, Bonzo staff. Oh, my life is so much easier now. Now let's just play the game. Take Fearless's advice and mine from Midas staff. And then do lava fishing for a 6-6 six, six rod before getting chambers. I mean, yeah, that's that's the plan, but like the armor though. Shark scale? I don't want to get shark scale. You know, if I'm gonna be doing enough lava fishing to combine enough attributes to get a magma rod with 6-6. Six, six, for those that don't know what I mean by 6-6, six, six, uh double hook six, mining speed six attributes, which would involve combining a minimum of I don't even know, man. Getting five is 16 rods. Six would be 32 rods. But then that would assume all of them have the exact same attributes, which they don't. Minimum 32, maximum 64 magma rods I need to craft and then combine with attribute crafting. That's going to be bad. <laughs> so an average and most likely... Eh, I don't know. The chance of them both having the same attribute is like, what, 25%? Well, I might actually craft some rods that don't have it. Ugh. I don't know what the exact probability is, but it's not good. It's not a maximum of 64. That's a maximum of 64, assuming at least one of the attributes I want is on the rod, which is not a good assumption to make. Anyways, yeah, so that's going to take a little while. So in that time, I will probably kill enough sea creatures to uh, to get the magma fishing gear, right? The slug boots, uh, rampart helmet, 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 Taurus helmet, flaming chest plate, all that stuff. Speaking from experience, it doesn't take too long. Hmm, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Still scary though. Fishing is an intimidating skill to get into. I'm going to be honest, but I think I have a decent idea of what I'm getting. Hey, future Fezzi, if you use this clip in the video, is uh, Spool an Arachne drop yet or no? I wonder if we're still in 2022. I would say we are right around, didn't I say I was at my birthday last time? Let's say this is a conservative estimate this time. It is going to be about my birthday, December 30th, right about now, by the time the video comes out. Late December. That's my guess, because we have so much footage ahead of us much of which has good content and i'm probably gonna make some vlogs tutorials whatever to help fill some of that time so perhaps perhaps why are the videos so far behind by the way so that we don't run out of content it, we are stocking up we're saving up for the winter we're stockpiling video content might even be 2024 already eh, i mean no that's 2024 hightail will be released by then uh I'm not going to bet on it. I'm honestly at this point, bro. We've been waiting on the game for so long. I'd be more surprised that it come out earlier rather, rather than later. Like when they announce inevitably a release date, I'm going to be genuinely surprised. I'm going to be like, wow, you're not going to delay another two years? You sure? You sure? Really? You're, it's releasing at that day and that time? Wow, that's early. <laughs> That's going to be my reaction, which is actually genuinely sad. I think for the game to have the best acceptance by the community, everybody needs to, you need to have it be such a long gap that by the time your game releases, all the people who saw the announcement trailer, all like 30 million of them, I don't know what the number is anymore. It might be a hundred. I have no idea. All like those hundred million people that saw it will be nostalgic. They're like, oh, I remember back in the day when the Hightail trailer was released. Wow, I'm so nostalgic. Really